we got about 100 plays in, uh, which was good. Um, it was a nice atmosphere at night, cooled down a little bit. I thought the effort was pretty good. Uh, we got a lot of work to do offensively. We have, you know, really everybody's a freshman in the scheme. And so we can't really progress to where we want to be for a game until we get the basics down. And we're still getting the basics down. But we have two weeks left. So uh, that's a good thing. But uh, I like their attitude. I think the guys have been really attentive to what we're doing. And, and uh, we got a lot of work to do. So we'll see what happens. Look at this opportunity for you then. Obviously, it's a chance for you to be here with Rhett and Coach mm -hmm. him and to help turn this program around with um, Terry. But at the same time, you know, how much is this kind of a redemptive opportunity for you to where, you know, your last couple jobs, things haven't ended like you wanted to, and it's a chance to, you know, maybe get back out there and, you know, show people what you can do again? Yeah, I mean, I think we wanted Arizona. We went to five bowl games in six years, and and uh, that was a frustrating situation because there was a bunch of BS involved. But uh, we won there pretty well, and I think in Michigan, that was disappointing. That's going way back, I guess. But uh, we thought we had it going. Uh, didn't get a chance to finish the job. So, but you know, it's just all about you know coming together with the whole staff. We had a chance to coach my son, uh, which is kind of neat. And uh, if, you know, if you're a competitor, I'm sure you want an opportunity to uh, you know maybe you know I think show a few things. But it's not it's not about uh, all that, even though I always wonder where sometimes I, I hear athletes or coaches say they don't have anything to prove. Well, if you're keeping the score, you do. And that's always been the case, you know, uh, for myself and for the people I've been around. If they're keeping score, we have something to prove. And that's been the case for 35 years. Coach Bowden said that Red has clearly stood out. What have you seen from him as a quarterback this fall? Well, he understands the system, I think. But again, it's been a couple of years since he's been in our system. So he's still learning it or re relearning it, I should say. And, uh, you know, he's he's a great young man. I mean, obviously, it's he's fun to coach because I know him and I know how important it is to him and, and what a good person he is. And he's very, very sharp. You know, he allows us to do more things. Uh, but we've been held back a little bit just because everybody else is brand new to it. Uh, he's and he's not new to it, but relearning it, so to speak. But uh, he's had a good camp. Um, he's taken some leadership, and he's 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 not an over the top type of leader. And sometimes I have to force him or tell him, hey, you know, take command a little bit. But he does it in his own way, and been proud the way he's uh, you know cr uh, grasped everything, and you know from not just from a football standpoint, but everything that uh, you, the school uh, wants. Biggest concern up front then with the offensive line? I think, yeah, I think it always starts up there. You know, didn't, don't have a whole lot of experience up front, have a few guys that have played. Uh, but that always starts with your, your biggest concern because everything starts up front. And, uh, you know, we have uh, a lot of young guys that are trying to compete. And, you know, we have new guys trying to compete. But it's, it's been – uh, interesting. There's been a source of frustration at times, I think, but I, I have to remember, hey, these guys are, one, they haven't played a whole lot in the past, and two, this is all new for all of them. So we have to be, I have to be a little bit more patient with them. How's that working? Not good. <laughs> Probably the worst person in the world patience-wise. So I still have my voice. <laughs> but we only had one week of camp, not two. If we had two weeks of camp, I wouldn't have a voice left. But uh, I'm not really patient. But, uh, again, those guys, have, I love how they, um, their attentiveness, I guess, and their attitude has been super. How much does that have that one week only? How much does that really hurt things? I think probably more so uh, because everything's all new. I think your second or third year in it, you know, having one week is not as critical. And most of the time, your guys are here all summer getting in shape. But from a scheme standpoint and from an execution standpoint, the first year is always the hardest. And it's always – it's not just coach speak. I think that any coach could tell you that the first year. You know, it's all brand new. And then as you go along year to year, you can not only uh, do more things, but they know how to do the things they're supposed to do better. Coach uh, pointed out or signal out Boogie and I. Have there been some other playmakers that really stood out for you guys? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you who. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know why. I mean, there's been guys. I think it's it's not been uh, 
a daily thing where we had one guy, oh, this guy's going to be, you know, uh, a superstar or something like that. But we've had guys, different guys make plays every day. It's been uh, consistently inconsistent in that, in that standpoint uh, from, in every position offensively. But I think we have enough guys to do that. But we're not going to be – we're probably going to be a team that plays a lot of people offensively. And si simply from the standpoint, there's not – I don't know if there's going to be one or two go-to guys. I think we need a bunch of guys that can play really good football. And if we do that, we'll be okay. You mentioned scheme and um, coming in here with some of these guys, you know, from Clemson who you haven't worked in before. Terry's mentioned that, you know, kind of wanting to meld both systems a little bit. Has that been mm -hmm. fun for you, you know, looking at some new ideas and try to integrate it with what you do? Yeah, I, it's, it's a, there's a lot of ideas coming in. I think uh, every year um, – if you're a coach involved in coaching, you look at what you do, or what you've done, and then also what else is out there. And I think I've always tried to do that. Uh, I think sometimes it labeled, well, you do this, you do this. And really, I think you try to evolve as a coach. You evolve from a scheme standpoint. Like, OK, that seems like a pretty good idea. Does that fit into the rest of the stuff you're doing? And so I've always tried to do that. And this year's no different.